Hi there. One important thing that educators want to do when using Schoology, uh, especially when going from transitioning from year to year, is to make sure that they are saving all of their coursework into their resources folder, and that way they could reuse them and improve them in the future rather than reinventing the wheel over and over again. It's a really great tool that you have at your fingertips in Schoology. So the first step to doing that is creating that folder. So from Schoology, you want to go to your resources at the top, <clears throat> Click on personal. If you had clicked on public or group, it would have brought you to the same screen, just in the correct, in the uh, you know the obvious spot here on the side. Uh, from in home here, home. Think of home as like your desktop on your computer, or like the My Drive on Google Drive. This is where everything goes, and it's really best to add things nested into folders uh, in here. And in Schoology, we call those top level folders collections. So to do that, we click up here on this button that shows the box, like a, like a big file folder box with the green plus next to it, and that's the Add Collection box. So you want to click on that, and the title you put in here is probably going to be the title of your course. And if you teach different courses, then you have different collections for those course. courses. There's no need to include a uh, year along in, in this title or anything like that, because unless you really want to, and here's why you... You, I'd recommend you shouldn't. That's because every year you would then update this collection to make this one collection the most up-to-date version of your course. Your courses stay in your archive, so you can go back and see, well, how did I do this three years ago? Whereas your collection, your resources will be your most current version of it. Now, obviously, that's a choice you can make yourself. If you'd like to have separate collections for separate years, that certainly is an option you could do. So I'm going to put in here 8th uh, grade math and go ahead and click to create this collection. And now you see it over here on the left as a collection. If I go into it, you can see I could add resources to it. I could share it with other people. I have some options such as renaming and deleting, and I also can access a lot of those, op or those same options over here on the left. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to take your archived course from the previous school year and add it into these resources. Now, obviously, if you teach different courses, for example, if I teach 8th grade math and I te teach 8th grade algebra, then I'll also want to create a folder for that so that I have multiple collections to keep those in separate places.